Welcome back to News Channel 9 at 6. Millions of dollars are being lost every year on computer home repair because scammers have tricked us into uploading their spams and viruses into our PCs and laptops. Tonight, we've got some advice to help you avoid a costly repair bill. Computer experts like David Waltermeyer at Affordable Computers say scam artists trying to get your passwords and personal information learn quickly. As people become aware of it, you know, word gets out and then they go a different direction. Two of the more familiar types of computer scams involve our own vulnerability. Calling my phone support. One is the cold call. The person gets a phone call, usually on a landline. They'll say, hey, we're from Microsoft, and we want, uh, we've detected there's, you know, X amount of viruses in your computer, and we need to log in, and, and we need to take care of this for you. That one targets the elderly computer user. Once you let them remotely access your computer, they upload viruses and spam into it. The other scam involves tech support lookup. That's when you look up technical support for your computer on the Internet, but you don't check the web address of who you're looking up. Using a phony Compact computer problem, I called one of the addresses, thinking I was contacting Compact, which is an HP company now. Are you, are you with Compact? We are. So after I hung up, I wondered why this company was at the top of the search results for compact technical support. Google's not interested in serving you the most relevant results. They're interested in selling advertisements. And that's how to avoid this type of problem. Always make sure the address for the company you're needing help from is in the web address. Now what do you do if you get one of those messages that says, your computer is slow, click here to speed it up? Don't click on the X in the upper right corner. That's what the spammer wants you to do. I know you hear from technicians not to do this, but if all else fails, don't click on anything and unplug the computer. Just unplug Just it. Just unplug it. And then plug it back in and boot it back up. Many spammers might want to remotely access your computer so they can guide you through the problems that you're having while, without your knowing it, depositing cookies and malware on the computer at the same time. Only allow remote access to a company that you know and trust and that you've done business with before.